he purchased an abandoned storage unit and inside was what ended up being the most preserved, pristine, vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles collection I've ever personally seen. So uh, where do you stand now? Are you wanting to sell everything right now? Bloggy flips. Hey, good morning. How's it going, man? Good, how are you? Good to meet you, JJ. An cool, nice to meet you, man. Nice Anthony. Nice to meet you. Well, that's impressive. <laughs> Dude, it's, yeah, it's definitely pretty crazy. In a storage unit? For three decades, man. Really? She, le, the dude legit bought it like in the early 90s, uh -huh. threw all of his stuff in there, most of it like brand new sealed, uh -huh. and then just shut the door and dust accumulated on it for three decades. That's like, crazy. Longer than I've been alive. So. so like you don't know like the history, like like I know it's why he like, stopped paying on it or just... Uh, he passed away. Oh, passed away. Okay. Uh, and then his uh, family was paying on it for about a year, uh -huh. and it just got too much, too expensive. Wow. And, it was just, it took me three days to clean everything <laughs> out, and this is like the remnants, and moving from California, but yeah, yeah, that's all the boxes, so. Oh, so this was in California, and you uh, moved it here? No, 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 that's uh, all my stuff, like, gotcha, we, we gotcha. just moved out to Indy from California. Gotcha. That's crazy. So, like, it was just like a unit that you bid on, just yep. randomly? Yep. That's it awesome. just liked it because it was super dusty and looked like it had some <laughs> some intrigue, which it definitely did. It did. Oh, and awesome. a lot of this stuff is in great shape. Yeah. I mean, I got some unpunched ones, and um, some of the cards aren't so great because the, they were stored kind of weird. Right. That's the awesome. The boxes are in great shape. Yeah. They legit, that was probably the thing that uh, he stored the best. That's cool. And so most of this stuff's never been opened, has it? Nope. It, Still nothing sealed. has been opened. It's all completely sealed. That's like... That's crazy. I love all the random stuff too. Like, yeah, you know, I, like the stuff that's figured, not action I figured figures. You would. You're like an aficionado <laughs> on this type of stuff, so I, I left it out. Like, I didn't know if it was completely your deal, but it is like still like cool from the early nineties. A lot of times, that's what I like more. It's just yeah. like the random weird stuff, like the rack toys and everything. Yeah, and like the knockoffs, like this right here. Yeah, I figured you would. <laughs> My wife was like, how is that not like blatant copyright? And I'm like, I don't know, man. It was the they got away a, with it. Was it. The Wild it was, West it was the, the Wild West of toys. Yep. Are some of these eight backs even, or uh, not eight backs, ten backs? Yeah, they are. Yep. Look at I that. think all of the the original four right there, they're all uh, they're still all in. Yeah. See, that's a collection I've been working on. It's like a ten back collection. Uh, yeah, like I figured you you collect for your own personal. So if I could help you accomplish anything in that regard, that'd yeah, be that's pretty awesome. Cool. So I've been following your work for about uh, a year or two. So I appreciate it, man. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Very knowledgeable, man. I found some like Kenner Star Wars and another like. Oh, really? Yeah, and another unit and some G1 Transformers. And you were, oh, that's like, awesome. I watched some of your videos and helped me <laughs> figure out what I had. Transformers are so hard. I... Yeah, that it was difficult for me to put together. My dad's like an 80s kid, so he like <laughs> he knew like what to like. Yeah. What some of it was, but it wasn't really his deal. He was more of like a G.I. Joe Star Wars guy. Yeah, I mean, if uh, Transformers aren't in the boxes, then I have so much yeah, trouble. Yeah, it took me forever, so I just lotted it all up and sold it on eBay. Well, that's someone awesome, got man. A, Someone got a good deal. <laughs> so uh, where do you stay now? Are you wanting to sell everything right now? Um, I, I mean, like, I don't I'm, know. I'm up for whatever, man. Like, okay. whatever, whatever you're feeling. Like, um, I know it's, it's definitely, it's a lot. Um... I know there's like there is a good market for it and obviously if there's going to be something that will help like complete some pieces in your right collection. yeah that's cool all right, so two tables worth would you have a number in mind yeah i'm i'm somewhere between three thirty five it's okay i have about i have like a, it's it's about six grand worth of okay worth of stuff okay just because it's all like completely oh yeah touched. i mean it's like i saw the pictures and i didn't know if these were just this, like put back in boxes but no those are this, those are this thing alone here is like seven to eight hundred bucks yeah i mean those are sealed boxes those are yeah. nice sealed boxes i know that's like kind of a new one for for you this yeah. is like it's like comic-con or like inventory oh yeah i know this it's, is like kind of kind of nuts but i wanted to give you first crack man i really respect like what you do i appreciate so. that Rather than just some random person on eBay, not no disrespect to them, but I mean, you definitely treasure this type of stuff. So. I appreciate it, man. This is like, I don't know, I might be shaking a little yeah. bit. I mean, if you do both tables for three, I'd do it. Okay. Yeah. If if you're comfortable there. Absolutely, man. Awesome. Yeah. Well, that was easy enough. Yeah. I mean, like this was the wild card for me because 
I saw the pictures. It could it could have just been boxes. Yeah. Nope. So, Every, everything is in there, man. I didn't want to ask too many questions because no, that's part of the fun. No, you're good, man. Okay. This is... <laughs> okay. Cool. Easy enough, man. Three yeah. grand. I have a huge box if you wanna if you wanna load. Okay. Everything in. Do you know anything about this? Um. It's James like Bond from, Jr. It's it's from the '90s. It's like really weird. It's cool. It's uh, it's not expensive. Yeah, it's it's definitely. It's, I like. I'm like. Yeah, it's like a weird thing to collect. I wish you would have done Star Wars, but yeah, it's kind of neat. So like, is this all eBay inventory then? Yeah, like I have Batman Returns. That stuff's probably hot right now, isn't it? Uh, it's it's getting there like yeah. a little bit. It's it's not quite like super but i feel like if someone held on to it for another yeah. decade it would, it would reach that more yeah. like vintage point um but i mean these things were these things are cool they're like old james bond oh, those puzzle. are really neat yeah yeah just super cool stuff like <laughs> every single thing i opened was just like man this is so stinking cool it is cool this may be this is like a large i wish this was an adult size that would have been cool. <laughs> they never like, are it's like a kid size yeah um, i think i have like one more random like knockoff Okay. Turtle rider in a bag somewhere. I'll get that to you. Awesome. But yeah, man. Cool. I'll count out some money real quick. Cool. Did you get a really good deal or uh, was there lots of competition for it? Um, I, mean, I, I was, I got bit up a little bit, yeah. but I was out the door with renting U-Hauls and dump runs for a thousand. Okay, cool. So cool. yeah. So this is like. So and, you're making money then and. Absolutely. Man. Okay, and good. Selling to you, that definitely, that means a lot to me. So. All right, cool, man. I, I appreciate that. Yeah. That should be three. Double count that cool. before I start packing up. Thank you. Yep. Good? Thanks, man. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. I think that thing's super cool. And then this thing. I don't know if you ever had one of these. This thing is like. I never no, had one, but they were cool. There's no comps for that on eBay. Yeah, I mean. Some, one sold like five or six years ago for like 200 bucks. So <laughs> it's, yeah. 1989. I've never, seen these. You just never find stuff sealed like nah, this. No, I mean. It's like a dollar ninety nine at like a thrift store, open, beat up, yep. and everything, but you yep. never see it like that. So that's awesome. Yeah, there's, there's <laughs> everything. Every box I opened, man, was just like it was What's just a time not time capsule of thirty years ago. Oh, and then here's that other uh, turtle ride. This is the only thing that was okay. opened in the entire lot. That's funny. <laughs> he just couldn't resist that yeah, one. Yeah, <laughs> that, just that one thing. I'm glad it was a knockoff thing and not a. I can't believe the back is is uh, so blatant. Yeah, you know, it, like it's blatant, like copyright. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> like crazy. usually, like they're kind of blank, and it's like, okay, yeah, you know, they, like what are you gonna they, do to they us? Use, like the exact same font. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but. It's really funny. All right. Uh, I gotta ask real quick: Is that Dracula Bank for sale, or is I, that a collection piece? Uh, I just put it up last night, man. But for, I know this is you're a fan of this stuff. You're a fan of this. Yeah, too, huh? I know. It, it caught my eye immediately. Yeah, it's. Uh, do you have that on eBay right now? Yeah. What are you asking on it? Uh. Three, 250. 250? Yeah. You wanna pull it off for 250 real quick? Yeah. Okay, deal. I love it, thanks, thanks man. man. Appreciate yeah. that. I appreciate it. All right, man, take it easy. Bye, bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> and we are back in the showroom. So I got a message from a really nice local guy named JJ. He purchased an abandoned storage unit and inside was what ended up being the most preserved, pristine, vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles collection I've ever personally seen. He sent me some pictures and invited me to come take a look. Even with the pictures, I didn't quite know what I was walking into. I didn't know if the boxes were opened or damaged or beat up, or if they were empty even. As it turned out, not only was everything sealed, most of it is absolutely pristine. At that point, I did not want to pick and choose. My goal was just to buy everything. Now, it's always nice not to have to make the first offer, especially when I've done no research and I'm ill-equipped for the situation. But if I had been forced to make an offer, the number that kept popping into my head was 2500 the fact that he had done all the research he had gone through everything and he was looking for between three and 35 i felt completely comfortable settling at 3000 after getting everything back here and doing the research myself i completely agree with jj i think the potential value is somewhere in the six to seven thousand dollar range and that's not considering the fact that some of these items appear to be in even better condition than the nicest sold example i could find so before I give you a closer look at some of these beautiful examples, keep in mind some of it's going straight into my collection. I'll probably sell off some to recoup some of the investment. And honestly, there's a few things that appear to be so hard to come by in this condition. They would probably make excellent candidates for grading. So with all that being said, let's take a closer look. So I have everything spread across two tables here, and I'm pretty sure that all of this stuff is from between 1988 
1991, which is probably my favorite TMNT era. We'll start here with some of the figures. We actually have all four turtles on the original 10 back cards. That's the card that has all the original figures on it. Unfortunately, they're not the fan club version, but that's okay because this is my main focus when it comes to turtle collecting. I'm trying to build a complete carded 10 back set. These are all unpunched as well, which is very nice. I do already have a very nice carded 10 back Raphael, but I was instantly able to add Donatello Leonardo and Michelangelo. These bubbles need cleaned up a little bit, but the cards are all very nice. And like I said, unpunched, which is always a plus. Any one of the turtles on a nice unpunched 10 back card is probably gonna run you somewhere between like 180 and $300. So I instantly added three to the collection. So that was definitely an added bonus for this deal. Here we have another 10 back Donatello. This one actually has the pop-up display inside, which offers a little bit of extra rarity, kind of breaks off into a, a whole nother realm of collecting. You see these a lot less than the other versions. If you turn this one over, it actually does have the fan club info. I've seen some of these pop-ups that do, some of them that don't. Not really sure how that plays in but just thought I'd mention it. Regardless, a nice pop-up display Donatello seems to run about $180 to $200. Got a bunch of other figures that kind of range in value, range in condition. Some of these oversized cards like with the head drop and turtles and the wacky action figures, they tend to curl up over time, but the bubbles all look really nice on these. I think the best one might be the mouser here. Cards a little beat up, but the bubble's nice. All in all, I think most of these should range in value somewhere between like 50 and 100 bucks. We do have the 1989 Raphael suction cup plush new with tags. I have found these lots of times in the past. Never new with tags though. I love a good knockoff like the fighting action turtles here. Definitely makes you wonder how they got away with it. Got a bunch of these Henry Gordy rack toys. We have the karate punch target game, the binocular set, the flying props, the water gun, the pop pistol target game. I'm a big fan of vintage rack toys because they're kind of outside of the main action figure line but they're still licensed so it's just not something that you see quite as often and nobody did it quite as well as Gordy and then here's where we come into some of the crazier stuff some of this even surprised me like who would have thought a 35 year old box of cereal still sealed could be worth around 80 bucks or so or that an unopened coin bank full of cookies from 1990 could bring in around 50. We have this really nice Leonardo ball and target set that comps out around a hundred bucks. A carded Michelangelo watch that comps out at around 75. This one's really cool. It's a Tyco 3D Viewmaster, completely sealed, with sold examples of around $150. A sealed box of color forms, a sealed box of Valentine's, a really awesome wallet that I may just switch out my Mario wallet for. Got this super colorful new old stock bandana, straight from a Woolworths back in 1990. A pack of sneaker snappers, a calculator, some magnets, pencils, a pretty hard to find sealed handheld game with sold examples from two to $400. I mean, this thing was $17.97 at Kmart in 1989. So that was always kind of expensive. This is a Helm toy shooting gallery. Not hard to find at all, but it's very tricky to find one in sealed condition. This one still has the tape. It's never been opened. You're definitely not gonna find that every day. A really nice new with tag single stitch youth large t-shirt. I did find a larger size that recently sold for like $125 with this exact same graphic. But like I said, this is a kid's shirt. And then lastly, that brings us to the real bulk of the deal. The pristine sealed vehicles and play sets. Nobody did vehicle boxes better than TMNT back in the late 80s and early 90s. The colors and graphics are just wonderful and you'd be hard pressed to find better examples than most of these here. I would say the only exception is this sewer party tube. The box has definitely been crushed on this one, still sealed, but the box has been crushed. Everything else is probably about as close to case fresh as you can imagine. If you take the Psycho Cycle, for example, turn it to the side, there is no color rub, no wear along the edges. That is just not something you see. Tape is completely sealed on both sides. I try not to oversell stuff because condition is definitely subjective, but these are certainly for someone wanting the best. And like I said earlier, some of this stuff is not going anywhere for the time being. But just quickly going down the line, let me rapid fire some of these comps at you. We have the TMNT Flushomatic. Probably the single most valuable thing in the entire lot, in this condition especially, would be the sewer sub from the Mutant Military. Again, look on the edges. 
just beautiful. We have a very nice foot ski. We have the Mutations Mutate and Raphael. We have the Sewer Army Tube, luckily in much nicer condition than the Party Tube. We have the Uzi, the 1989 Turtle Cycle. We have the Ninja New Cycle, the Double Barreled Plunger Gun, the Sewer Seltzer Cannon, and then my two favorite pieces, mostly because you just don't see them in this condition. We have Don's Telephone Line Rider Backpack. Not an expensive piece whatsoever to find it loose. I think it's pretty easy to find a loose complete version for less than 20 bucks, but if you want one in pristine sealed condition, it's probably going to take you a while to find it, and it's probably going to run you close to $300. And lastly, we have the 1991 Turtle Communicator. This one, unlike the Line Rider Backpack, to find one that's nice, clean, complete, working, it still can be kind of expensive. But to find one in a sealed, pristine box, certainly not something that happens every day. That is all I got for you this time. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching the video, but until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Love ya. Bye.